Hello everyone and welcome back to The Outer Worlds. In the last session, what did we do? We completed Vicar Max's quest, his uh, vision quest, in fact. And uh, he's now a better person all around, I believe. <laughs> or so he's led me to believe. And we also began Felix's quest. You got anything new to I say? I spend years fixing this boat, stem to stern. No, okay. Um... So, we are in a position now with what quests? We've got the main quest to speak to Phineas. Uh, we need to go back to Groundbreaker for that one. Can't go to Byzantium yet for that one. Uh, that one is also Groundbreaker. And then this one is Scylla. We need to collect three pheromone glands from pungent primals. Now, are we at Scylla? Where is this? We are at Scylla. Are we at the correct Scylla place? The Scylla landing pad? Destination reached. Scylla. I guess so. Okay, cool. Well, let's uh, head on out and do this then. Uh, hang on. Was this a companion quest? Who do I need to bring? This is Nyoka's companion quest. Okay. So... They're already selected. Perfect. Continue. Nyoka and Pavati. I, the more I'm playing with Nyoka, the more I'm liking her. She, I wasn't sure if she was my vibe at the start. I really like her companion ability, but I wasn't sure if her personality was my vibe. I was thinking I prefer Ellie's. But the more I have used Nyoka, because we had to for a lot of, uh, a lot of the Monarch quest, the more I've come to like her. And I still do really love Ellie as well, but it's like I, I, lo I love them both, and Nyoka's ability is better, which sort of tips the scales. But I do want to hear some more Ellie. If only I could just have all the companions just like following me around. Big, big group hug kind of deal. <laughs> that would be, that would be good. And also probably impossible to balance and have work well. Oh, are they... Okay, they are not all in one place. We have got a bit of a roam, a bit of a roam ahead of us. I I'm real sorry about your friends, Nico. Ain't no one deserves to go to bed. Certainly not folks just trying to get by. Thanks for saying that. You know, after seeing so many people get chomped, trip into sulfur pools, shot by marauders, I always figured we'd die young. But just because you expect it doesn't make it any easier. Oh, shit. Next chance we get, I'm buying you a Spectrum bottle so we can proper drown this melancholy. <laughs> oh, I didn't get a chance to try Spectrum when we went out drinking. Is it any good? It is, without a doubt, the worst, most foul liquid mankind has ever <laughs> had the misfortune to invent. You'll love it. Oh, that's good. I like that. Five right. Hi! Here I go. Donkers. Nice. <laughs> Knock them for six. So, uh, we are going to get to try out my massive gun on uh, some huge primals, hopefully. I very much hope they're huge. I want to see how quickly I can tear through them. He looks like a pretty big boy. Pungent primal behemoth. There's quite a few of them, actually. Well, let's see how quickly this tears through him. Pretty fucking quick, it turns out. Wow. <laughs> that is fucking ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. You've got to admit. I love it. Uh-oh. 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 You, uh, you repositioned yourself further away, my mans. That is insane. And I know we upped the damage a couple more ticks in the last session as well. <laughs> you guys called me out on that. You're like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> You've already got the Melt Machine 9000. Do you really need more damage? And to that I say, absolutely. Because uh, <laughs> you can never melt a behemoth too fast. That was like, as literally like I tap the trigger and that massive creature just disappears. <laughs> I love it. Hello. I think I must have been hitting him. Oh my! Oh, 
Okay. <laughs> that made me properly jump. I'm not gonna lie. That made me properly jump. I must have been hitting him in the head because this primal brute seemed to have more health than the behemoth. Is it behemoth or behemoth? I'd never know which way is the right, right way to pronounce it. But yeah, but I, it must have been because headshots. Hello! Get deleted! Come on, the recharge. Come on, the recharge. Never lucky. It sure is. God, if I got this gun and upgraded it like I have, supernova difficulty, I'm pretty sure would be a piece of piss. Holy shit. If you guys, if you guys are looking to do a supernova difficulty playthrough, may I recommend getting your uh, heavy weapon stat to 100 pronto. That shit good. Hello, Mega Primal. Lovely day to die. Ah, oh, I wish he wouldn't bury the fucking first thing he does. Really? Tell me more. God, you have a lot on you. Did you guys take care of this dude? Oh, both of these dudes. Wow, you know, you guys aren't bad. Teamwork makes the dream work. You've sort of annihilated them. And I, for one, love to see it. Hello, friends! To shreds, you say? To shreds, I say. Nothing like a good wow, they're absolutely annihilating. I don't remember them being this fucking good. Or are these guys... Maybe, have I given them... I haven't even given them better weapons, have I? Which I really should do, come to think about it. Your weapon is 960. Compared to my own... Uh, 1,600, yeah. Oh shit, I'm supposed to be trying these. Right, I put these all on. And then didn't try them. Okay, okay, that's fine. Let's uh, head over to the other one. We've got the gloop gun. We've got the shrink ray. And we've got the... I don't remember what this one does. Mind control, was it? Let's find. Oh, let's test it on these guys, shall we? You guys are about to have an unfortunate time. Oh shit, I killed him. Wait, this is not not going as planned. There we go. Yeah, mind controls them. Oh, but only for as long as I hold it on him? Hmm. Okay, that one seems... A little bit garbage? Hmm. Maybe it's supposed to be used on, uh... Tougher enemies, perhaps? Alright, let's try the gloopy gloop. Oh my god! It makes them levitate? Oh, that's fantastic! Ha ha ha! It's so tiny! That's hilarious. Oh shit, but why am I slowed? Uh oh. Get him, ladies! Okay, let's uh. Cool. Okay, science weapons, potential fun there. <laughs> uh, am I going to just stick with my huge machine gun? Yes, probably, but uh, at least after... Ah, uh, I don't know what part this will be. What are we on, like 30-odd parts or something or more? I don't know. Hang on, I can actually find out. Give me one second. Oh. We're, we're over 40 parts. Oh. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> I didn't realize we'd been playing for that long. What? 
over 40 parts. It feels like I've just started. I love this game. Hello, Nyoka. The queen ain't gonna go down easy. I can't wait. I actually guarantee What's that up? queen is going to go down easy. Uh, these glands are gross. Take them, please. Outstanding. These ought to be enough. Let's get back to Monarch. There's an old base I used to call home. I can get us in the door, but we'll have to shoot our way through the queen's brood to get to the center. We'll set the bait there. Something tells me we'll be Password fine. Password to the door is Charon. It is pronounced Charon. Today I learned. Charon is a moon of somewhere. I can't remember. Is it Jupiter? Hayes' idea. Clara, Hayes, Anders, or Rebecca, Opal, not. Neoka. Charon. He said it was some old myth. Something about death and all the things we killed. I mean, there the is... Okay. just thought it sounded cool, so here we are. I guess that's the base of it. I guess the moon was named after the old myth. Um, it's about time. We're going to kill a Manti Queen. Fucking right we are. Not that we haven't killed like 30 of them already, but... You know. <laughs> oh, hello. Little hidey hole. Are you alright there, friend? Here we go. Solid, kill. Solid kill. Oh, two more. Really? Two more hacking to get in that. God damn it. I'm getting a funny feeling like I've been in that cave before. Have I been in that cave before? It's entirely possible. Oh, there's my ship. I'm like... <laughs> looking up there like, well, how do I get up there? I don't understand. This is very difficult. Doinky doinky doink doink doink. Let me in! Thank you. Uh, where's the button? Here's the button. Who left the engines running? Cool. Okay. Neoka is drunk. Surprise. Where Neoka at? Neoka, let's have a chat with your drank ass. I forget which room is hers. Oh, that's just this thing. I guess this repeats then. Human. You are in violation of cleanliness ordinance. Eight, eight, eight. Can I really not jump this barrier? Shortcuts. Ah! Hells yeah. Right. Monarch. Uh, fuck. There's no way of... We can't look at the map for the place before we go there, can we? So there's no way of knowing which one would actually be best. Let's go to the dangerous one then. Like the boss we are. We're in orbit over Cascadia, Cap Oh. Space's choice found a flaw in you permanently crippled. Your legs have been damaged too many times, and your movement speed has now been permanently lowered. Movement speed minus 30, and unable to dodge for one perk. Again, what in the fuck? Who would choose this? I don't understand. I don't understand. I genuinely do not understand. Like, that's so bad. Movement speed down 30%. And you can't dodge, which I never do anyway. Not gonna lie. The only time I remember that dodge exists is when I'm out of combat and I'm just spamming the A button on my way to a place because that's what I do <laughs> normally. If I'm on my way somewhere, and there's no combat occurring, I will probably be jumping on my way there, a little bit at least. Um, and aside from that one specific time, uh, it I'd never use it, ever. Maybe I would if the game was harder. But uh, <laughs> I'm quite enjoying just completely reaping my way through, like everyone. All right, let's have a look at the map. Let me guess, we're fucking miles away from the objective and I'm gonna need to move my ship. 
our survey says... Oh, that's pretty good. I mean, it's not amazing. Oh, right, I forgot that fast travel exists. That's actually pretty good. So it doesn't even matter where we land. I'm pretty dumb. <laughs> oh yeah, we're gonna have to move our ship so we can get closer. No. Just click the button. Push the button. I'm very glad that the map loaded there because I was about to hit my highest possible range. Uh, and then that would have been an awkward. Didn't really have any further bit to do there. <laughs> I was gonna just hit my highest note. My voice was gonna cut out. And you were all going to laugh at me. Thankfully, that tragedy was averted by the fact that the map finally loaded about 20 seconds after I fucking asked it to. Game, hello, you're running on the Xbox One X. Currently, most powerful console. How fucking long does it take to load the map on, like, baby Xbox? The original. The world's Ooh, fucking least powerful console. I haven't set foot in here since... Well, I'm ready. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Here we go. Caron. Ownership data corrupted. Passcode accepted. Okay. Little pig, little pig, let me come in. Don't worry about the hair on your chinny chin chin. Okay. That was uh, very fortunate. My, my uh, headset started telling me why are these outlined in white? Are they always outlined in white? That's looking weird to me. Aren't they normally outlined in bl blue or something? I'm confused. Why is that looking so weird to me? Am I losing my mind? I swear they're not normally outlined in white. Hmm. Yeah, my microphone started telling me that, uh... Not my microphone, my headset started telling me it was out of uh, juice during the loading screen. So I could quickly whap that uh, cord in and uh, cut out the loading screen. And Bob's your uncle, easy peasy, lovely jubbly. They look fun. I'm sure they're going to be an issue. Just kidding. I'm sure they're not. Ooh, hello. This one's expenny. We've got a lot of magpix again, though. When did that happen? You make it look so easy. I don't remember getting a lot of magpix. I remember being very short on magpix and then not gaining any, and then suddenly we have a lot now. Okay, well, ladies first. Come on, the recharge, motherfucker, never lucky. Oh, you've got a bit of health, haven't you? They felt like they had more health than the primals. He says as he mows through them with ease anyway. <laughs> Place glands, oh boy. Oh. Well, this is the spot. You know, I thought I'd be angry. I thought I'd storm in here in a rage and exterminate all these bugs and everything would be all right in the end. But I ain't. I'm mostly just empty. A little sad, maybe. The first night Hayes and I spent in here, we knew it was home. It's safe. It's got a nice chill to it. But mostly, it doesn't stink of sulfur. Always a bonus. I'm with you there, I hate that smell. You know, it did feel a bit different when we walked in. Or just let her talk. I like that that option's there, I don't know if I want to take it. I think we will, actually. Monarch folks often joke about it. Not because of the smell or the grittiness it leaves in your throat. Not because of the headaches or the coughing. It's because there's no escaping it. It's life here, and there ain't anything you can do about it. But here... Somehow the sulfur never made it. 
The nights we spent in here felt like vacations. So we started building. We hauled in steel, hired sublight folk to help. That's how we met Anders and Opal. They stuck around after our contract was up. Opal liked camping. Anders liked chasing her tail. Four of us for a while, scraping together what bits we could to build our home. Then came Rebecca, a sawbones out of the Cascadia survivors, who took a kindness to Hayes. And Clara, her little sister. I'll admit I wasn't keen on taking her on at first, but for a teenager, she was surprisingly capable. She had a head for numbers, helped us trade hides for food and materials, negotiated contracts, turned out to be mighty useful. Clara, Hayes, Anders, Rebecca, Opal, and me. Six folks, one name, one family, Charon. Despite Monarch trying to kill us day in and day out, we managed to belong. Hmm. I'm sorry they aren't here to see us kick some manty ass. Let's do this. Leave convo. Tell you what doesn't belong. The bugs. Leave convo. You are a family. I'm sorry they're gone, Nyoka. Me too, Captain. But I'm starting to think that maybe I found another. Aww. Now let's get to shooting before I get all sentimental. Okay. <laughs> Incoming! Who wants to die? Because I've got a sail going on on death. Oh, I was trying to aim at the drone. Oh, I, I was still trying to aim at the drone. That's awkward. The queen's all mine. Hello, queenie. Oh, I'm glad that fight was as hard as it was hyped up to be. <laughs> Man. I, I love how powerful we are now. Remember remember in the opening couple of episodes, uh, I would get into a fight and all of my health would just be instantly drained. And I was, I was genuinely worried. I was like, fuck, is this game hard? Oh, no. Oh, no, we've just hit the new cap. Fuck. <laughs> We have so much room and we still get capped. Okay. Uh, add to... Oh my god. Wait, is that a new option? Has this been updated? Has add to, add to junk always been there? Or have I just never... Have I never seen it? What is... Hmm. Wait, did I even want to get rid of my... Can I just add all this stuff to junk? And then just bin it all at once. Oh, right, but I can't bin it. Because I'm not at a bench. Sh shite. Well, for how about for this then? Break that down. And that. And that. Wait, hang on. That's got a bunch of mods attached to it. Or does it? No. I don't know. They're kind of grayed out. Well, we're at 299. That doesn't help much, does it? Hmm. Actually, there's a spot on the ship. There's a workbench on the ship, isn't there? So we can just do it there. So that's fine. Oh, come on, really? Oof. Clara, that's the kid. They'll never see us. Feels bad. I wish these were more auspicious circumstances, but at least we're all here. This bringing them together, burying them. This is the kind of thing Hayes would have done. That makes it stupid. By all accounts, we should have left well enough alone, but... That also makes it right. Captain, thank you. You're welcome. I can't stand by while Banter Queens roam free. You're welcome, Nyoka. You mind if we rest a spell before we head out? I'd 
I'd like to bury Opal and Clara proper before I lay everyone's medallions to rest. You're leaving the medallions here? I suppose that's why. Of course, although I think you should hold on to the medallions. I'd rather just head out. Um, well, two of them end the conversation, so I'm going to go with this one. And also, I guess I agree. What? Why? Those painful memories, Captain. They'll help you remind. They'll help remind you of both the good and the bad. They like to be remembered once in a while, even if it hurts. What if someone finds a sight? Yeah, we'll go with this one. Help remind you of good and bad. Huh. That's. That ain't a bad point. All right, Captain. Thanks. Okay. Are we getting a cutscene? Is that why we've gone black? Oh no. Oh, that was weird. I thought I was looking at the ceiling or something. I think I was... I was looking at my feet. Okay. <laughs> That's nice. Opal, one of the very few who deserved better. Rebecca, at the very least, you came back to us in the end. Anders, between raptodons and women, he died doing what he loved. Chasing tail. <laughs> Jackson, his most egregious crime was having the gall to die before me. And Clara, the closest thing to a sister that I ever lost. Oh man, that's so sad. I'm so sorry, Nyoka. My goodness. Right. Let's, uh... Wait, my hacking's... At 73? Have I, am I losing... Wait. It, it would it would say there if I was losing a bunch. Because didn't my... Oh, it was my lock picking, not my hacking. Right. Makes sense. Uh, Get that to 50 then. May as well. I'm always going to have Pavati with me. Hmm. What else do I want to do? What else do I want to do? I don't know. I'm pretty happy, honestly. I guess these then. Get them all to 50. Sounds good to me. And we got a perk. That was a perk level up. Sweet. Okay, all of these were garbage, right? These first ones, don't care, don't care. Eh, not particularly. That's the one we got. Movement speed during TTD. I literally haven't used TTD since the start of the game. Uh, whenever you are affected by a harmful combat effect, you deal increased damage. Hmm. Don't feel like I need increased damage. Reduce the detection radius of enemies when you have no companions. Never gonna have no companions. Melee return to health. I don't melee. Effect. Area of effect and plasma damage dealt to you is reduced. Meh. Uh, your ranged attacks. Reduce the target's armor rating by one points per hit. I already shoot directly through all armor, so that's not... that doesn't matter. Uh, when you use an inhaler, any downed companions are revived with a small amount of health. I guess that's good. They don't really die, though, because we delete everything. Headshot kills explode, damaging nearby enemies. That could be fun. When you're at low health, you deal increased damage. I never am at low health. Okay. Um, hmm. I, I'm, not, I'm not really trying to aim for headshots, if I'm honest. I don't know, man. Significantly reduce the weight of consumables. <laughs> Let's just fucking do that one. Well, I'm at 302 now. Takes me down to 231? Christ, I had that much? So if that means I, uh, it was about 70, was 50% that it took off. So that means I have 140 out of 300 was my consumable weight? That's insane. I didn't realise just how much I was carrying. And I never use any of them, ever. Man, maybe I should consider just dropping the whole lot. That is crazy. What a madness. Okay, so Byzantium we can't do, so the other two faction quests are on the Groundbreaker. So I guess that's where we're going next. 
I, I'm in disbelief. I'm in disbelief at that. Making it look easy. Right. Uh, cool. Oh, hello, Magpig. I'm so fucking sure that these did not have a white highlight around them last time. It's really messing with me. As soon as I finish recording these couple of parts, I am going straight to my recordings for the previous one and checking because it's hurting my head. I do not appreciate. I can't believe just how much that consumable weight was, man. That's that's crazy. That's crazy. Wait, could I? I could have fast traveled from in here, couldn't I? Oh, God damn it. I think I could. I think you just have to swap uh, swap to the region map and then you can still fast travel. Even if you're inside. Oh, well. Back to the ship we go. Hammersmith invites you to come see the greatest touch ball backs of all time. The fabulous Fraser Bros of the Hammersmith Thunder. Right. Mappity, moopity, coming for that shoopity. Oh my god, why does the region map take so long to load? Okay, so here's an example. So I wasn't going insane. There are places you can find. Oh no, never mind. It's just that they overlap. Right, okay. That's why I didn't realise you could fast travel straight inside the ship. It's because they overlap to the point where you have to get this far away from it before it flicks onto the next one. There it is. Like, that's pretty mad. That is pretty mad. But, uh, yes. Let us head back in. Let us break down the stuff that we have in the old inventory. Let us uh, head on over to Groundbreaker. Complete the quests that we can do there. And then I imagine... What is it, Felix Quest that's on the Groundbreaker? That'll probably update. Uh, basically, we're going to knock out as many of the side quests as possible. We can't do the Byzantium one, obviously. But the other couple... Well, one of them's just finishing it, right? Just hand it back in. So I guess it's just the Felix one that still has a ways to go. But we will uh, certainly see how far we can Captain, progress that one. If you're looking for crew members Ellie or Felix, they're sharing a drink upstairs. Again? Jesus Christ. Ellie... This is why I'm not taking you out anymore. <laughs> uh, wait, hang on. This isn't... I thought this was a vending machine for some reason. I thought workbenches functioned in the same way. They do not. But it doesn't even matter. Wait, can I break down my junk at it? At least... No. God damn it. Uh, what needs repairing? You do... For a whole six bits. Oh no, for a whole six weapon parts. Remember when weapon parts were a scarce commodity? Now I have nearly 500 of them. Hmm. I really don't care about repairing these, let's be honest. Um, How much does this cost again? Ah, uh, yes. More bits than I have. <laughs> right. Let's not do that then. I can dump some. So then I says, "Fine, I'll pay you back for all of it with interest." Nice one. You must have had them quaking in their heels. I mean, I wasn't really gonna do it. I just wanted to make them feel bad. Pay you back with interest. I gotta remember that one. Would have felt better if it had worked. Don't smoke. It's bad Just for your health. Legs, boss. Yeah. Got a fucking issue, Felix? He's like a little kid. Bollocks! Didn't mean to take it. Transfer. That's what I meant to do. What did I pick up? Was it this? Probably. Uh, transfer. 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 Wait, no. What am I doing? Didn't want to transfer that. Just want to transfer stuff I don't want to sell. We can sell that. That's fine. Any... Yeah, the eye patch. 
and all of this legendary stuff, I guess. Can sell that. Good, good. Looks like the bin is not, in fact, that large. We've almost maxed it out. That's worrying slightly. Any new stuff on here? Nope. Make yourself at home, Captain. I will do. It's my fucking ship. Right. Off to the Groundbreaker, then. Let us return. It's been quite a while. <laughs> we we first arrived there fairly early on after just the Edgewater section, and then proceeded to spend like four or five parts just walking around chatting to everyone. Solid banter. Okay, I guess we're gonna have to take off Neoka and put Felix on. Unfortunately. I know we're all very disappointed at that fact. Because Felix is like an annoying toddler. He's, he's getting younger every time. He was a teenager a second ago. Now he's an annoying toddler. But he's trying to chat up Ellie. Toddlers don't tend to do that. Don't think Ellie would be too into that either. So uh, maybe maybe that's skewing a little young. But uh, he's, he's just... Oh, he's He gets on my nerves. Vicar Max gets on my nerves because he's just a bit of an asshole. But, uh... <laughs> Felix gets on my nerves for, uh, just... I don't know, just existing? I think it's just existing. Unfortunate. Oh, nice. Vending machines. You love to see it. Right. I need to... Yeah. I was like, why is it pointing me back to the ship? Because I've got the wrong thing selected. Derp. Hello, vendor. I would like to buy your finest 50 ammo. Muchas gracias. Now I would like to sell this shit. And that shit. And all of that shit. Uh, and none of that shit. Boing, da -da ding boing, da -da ding boing, boing, boing. Oh, I forgot how lovely it looks. Hello, Mr. Moon Man. Goodbye, Moon Man. And turn around, and they're looking me right in the face. Oh, spooky. Dun, 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 elevator music. Sup? 